Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video here today. So today I have a review for you guys of these two candles. We have Ocean and Vanilla Bean, the blends that came for Sass. And then we have In the Stars and Honey Crisp Apple. So I'm going to let you guys know that I literally did the review. I think I talked for, I don't know if it was 15, 20 minutes already. And because I was trying to film with the back side of my camera so that you guys can see me and the words and all that stuff won't show up backwards. Because um, I filmed from my phone. It wasn't filming. I thought I had hit on and everything and it wasn't. It wasn't filming so i already talked about these i already reviewed them and i gotta start over so let's just get right into it this is awful for me but not for you guys um we have the in the stars and honey crisp apple blend i am going to give you the notes we have star flower sandalwood musk that is the notes that comes from in the stars we have golden honey crisp and apple blossom that comes from the honey crisp apple candle um this candle hopefully you guys don't think i didn't burn it at all because it's full this is my second one and this is my empty so there you go i've already burned through look the wax let's talk about it like i feel that it burned pretty clean i mean all candles are going to have soot so you're going to notice maybe a tiny bit of soot there on the wax or something but look around the the glass jar there's not really any soot and i did not clean it okay if i cleaned it you would be able to like this stuff should be gone right here a little bit of the wax that's stuck there so this one here when i burned it i started smelling it right away i know that i heard different things you know we're all going to experience the candles differently maybe the batch number as well like i could smell mine and yours maybe didn't have a throw at all or anything like that this one here as soon as i was uh burning it and i saw it liquefy a bit not even all the way i started smelling it in this room that i started uh burning it it is, I would say, a throw of about a seven or an eight, so medium to high. It does um, project, but it goes, it doesn't fill my whole hallway. It goes about halfway. So it doesn't just stay in the room that you're in. Like it travels a bit, but not too much, okay? So I would say projection, probably a six or a seven a medium projection and then let's see what else okay what this candle reminds me of it does not at all to me if it does to you you know we all experience it differently it does not remind me of in the stars at all this candle just to me has a lot of apple and honestly a spice that's not noted i was thinking it smelled kind of like cinnamon i don't know maybe clove because i have another candle i'm going to compare it a little bit to or something I don't know, nutmeg, I don't know. But there is some type of spice that you can smell on this candle. What it reminded me, actually, I was picturing like a the apple pie, you know, the inside of the apple pie, the apples with the glazed filling and like a little bit, I think it has like cinnamon on it or whatever, that spice that they put on the inside of the apple pie. That's what this candle was reminding me of. So I think that this candle is more of a fall, maybe because all you know a lot of apple comes out in the fall and then they throw spice in it and it had a hint of spice um so that's what it reminds me of and that's what i think you know the season it's good for because i do like my fruity ones for spring and summer but this one's not all all fruity it has spice in it so this one would be for fall so that's why i think i'm gonna burn finish this one in the fall like or at least closer like maybe in september or something and i liked it I didn't love it like I don't love it where I feel like I need a full case of these or like even three or four I was like you know one more I'll burn it and I enjoyed it so there is that one it's a like not a complete love good enough that I wanted one more that I could burn in the fall so this one also reminded me I was burning actually right now I'm finishing this one in my room this spiced apple crumb from homeworks you see, because like, I think maybe even, you see that filling? That's like the filling that it reminded me of totally before I even like looked at this. And so this here, it has mixed apple, which is, you know, apple, the cinnamon sugar. So I was like, maybe this has like cinnamon sugar or something. It has clove. And then I even said nutmeg. So yeah, so it has those spices in here. But this one, 
So this one has a stronger apple scent than this one. This one has more, like it actually even notes the spices so you could get a lot of that spice. So this one kind of reminded me a little bit. And they're not like siblings or maybe like cousins. But yeah, they uh, reminded me of each other. And I'm just finishing this one off. Should be in my empties uh, this month. So the next one we're going to review is Vanilla Bean, the Ocean and Vanilla Bean. This one here. We have the same. I don't think the sitting was bad at all. Like, I think it was good. Like, I didn't clean the jar again at all. Um, you can notice maybe like a little bit, a little bit more darkness in the wax in this one, but vanilla, you know, tend to like have a little bit more soot. I was saying these have thicker wicks, but yeah, it didn't do bad at all. This one is one, in my opinion, for your room. If you burn it in this room, I feel like it gets lost because this is the living room with the kitchen. And then we have another living room behind me with the dining room table and all that. So I think that this one is meant for a smaller room. Uh, it gets lost in a bigger room. So my room, I could smell it. The first time I burned it, I actually burned it in my son's room, Alex. And so in his room, it was perfect. Like it filled his room to about an eight. When I opened the door, like I loved it. I was just like, oh my God, it smells so good in here. I really love this candle. I'll tell you in a minute why. Um, yeah, so it does not project outside of the room though. It stays in the room. Then I burned it in my room, same. It doesn't like come out, but you can smell it. In my room, it's more like a six or a seven, but very nice. And did I read the notes? No, I didn't, I think. So we have in this one, blue cypress and coastal air that come from the ocean candle. And then we have Madagascar vanilla bean, warm cinnamon that comes from the vanilla bean candle. So uh, I would say, and it's funny, it has warm cinnamon, but I don't think I got cinnamon from it at all. I got a lot of vanilla. Like I got a lot of vanilla that smelled so sweet and good and I loved it. So because I burned vanilla bean before and the one I had, because it was an older one that I had gotten at an MOS, it was an old vanilla bean. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But it didn't burn that good. I feel like I didn't really smell it. But now this one made me want to try another vanilla bean from the store. So maybe eventually I'll pick another one up. But this one is way more vanilla. And then the ocean, the blue cypress and the coastal air, what it gives it is like this, like this fresh colony scent, a hint of it, like just a hint. It's not super strong in that aspect of like cologne or it's just a hint of the freshness and a hint of the cologne. And it's so good, like so, so good in my opinion. That's my opinion. I know some people who knows what they're saying, but this is just really good to me. I'm happy that I got one more and I'm hoping that at Nexas, gosh, if I could find these for 75% off, I would get like, I would say three more. Yeah, I would get like three more of these. And yeah, that is what I think of this. Like, I really liked it. I told you projection is not going to project out of the room that you're in. Don't burn it in a super big room because you going to get lost you're not going to smell it the throw like i said it's about depending what size the room is mine was a six or a seven in my room my son was like more like an eight filled his room very nicely and yeah that is all that i have for these two candles i hope that you guys liked hearing my thoughts about them hearing what i liked about them and all that but yeah that's all i have to say uh, when i burn the other candle that i have that's the plumeria and lemon zest i'll come back and i'll let you guys know about that one but then if you guys already know or don't know i did return the black cherry merlot with hello beautiful because that one i could not smell it i tried it in this room here um the first time had it pulled through all the way and it did not smell like nothing i had to step on top uh you know be on top of the candle so i could smell it at all same in my room the second time i burned it in my room and since i wanted to be able to exchange it if i'm not going to smell it i didn't want to burn it a third time so because i don't want to have any problems when exchanging so i went ahead and just exchanged it and i actually got like one of these for for that one uh yeah so hopefully you, i think some of you guys maybe you have better luck with that one i didn't but that's all that i have for today guys thank you so so much for watching and until the next video my friends please stay blessed bye guys